Now, the Pride Month came into existence with the Stonewall Riot, which took place in 1969 in New York. This event is historical because it brought the movement for equal rights for the LGBTQ community out into the streets. To understand its significance, let's go back 50 years ago. The Stonewall Inn was a shabby bar and the only space for members of the LGBTQ community to gather. A Stonewall Inn established itself as the city's leading gay establishment because it allowed dancing, something prohibited at other bars. Because of the dancing, it attracted a diverse, mainly younger crowd. It was against the law for gays to dance. It was against the law to males to have contact. Uh, slow dancing was out of the question. Uh, you just couldn't do these things. So in order to be able to dance, whatever dance, or to hold someone in a slow dance, it was a sense of freedom that was so enjoyable and rare. In the 1960s, police routinely raided LGBTQ venues. It was illegal for a bar to serve homosexuals in New York City up until the late 1960s. However, an LGBTQ rights organization protested against this ban and persuaded the city to change its stance in 1966. Although the law changed, police still found reasons to raid gay bars. Often they were raided under the pretext of being disorderly or to have their legal license inspected. On the 28th of June, the police conducted raids at the Stonewall Inn, but a group of lesbians, drag queens, transgender people and gay men stood up to the police abuse. And I think that night, standing outside there, I think many of us said, Blacks are fighting for their rights. Women are fighting for their rights. Latinos are fighting for their, their rights. What about us? What about me? I know I said that to myself. And as the mood turned rowdy, the police themselves retreated into the bar and closed the door. The, crows, uh, the crowd sensed that the tide had turned and it was the police who were now scared. Protesters hurled bottles, cans, rocks, bricks and cocktails at the police. Some even tried to set the building on fire. The demonstrators called for fresh protests the following day. They got the word out by writing in chalk on sidewalks and walls in the neighborhood. The next six nights of protests gave rise to the modern gay rights movement and to pioneering advocacy groups like the Gay Liberation Front and the Gay Activist Alliance. We still have to be as vigilant as ever, or more, but we have something, if we have to fight for our rights, we have rights to fight from. We had nothing then. And I think this whole world has changed, and Stonewall's, one street has become a global thing. To me, Stonewall's a verb.